Welcome to this New Apprentice video tutorial and here I'm going to be talking about the ice cream and related product sector and that's going to include things like frozen yogurt, gelato and many more things besides. So I'll show you the initial research base and don't forget you'll need to research your own links to go alongside what I'm giving you here to get you started. Well here we are on the sector page which you navigate through the menu at the top and the first thing I'll show you here is the sector insight which gives you some useful data and you are asked as part of the project to analyze trends within the industry and this has got some very useful statistical data about the way the markets moving the value of different markets and you can see here that um, it's got some very useful facts and figures which you can use to justify this being a market that you want to get into I've also included some other market reports which contain equally good facts and figures about the UK ice cream and related product market. Then there are some websites that I really like. I've put one here called The Ice Cream Bloke and uh, that tells you uh, a little bit, this is one company, but it tells you a little bit about some of the exciting and innovative products that you could really take to market very, very easily. So do have a look at that and don't forget these equally useful links down here on the right hand side for you to extend your research a little bit further. Another nice link is this one, frozen yogurt shop called Snog, which is based in London, I think. Uh, and it's got some very nice ideas about menus and how you could set up a shop, how you could market your products with your packaging, your distribution, and so on. So uh, do take a look at some of this and stimulate your imagination. Well, starting a business is not just about getting a great idea. It's about getting your equipment, setting up your distribution network, your shop, your website, or whatever. And I found this site here, which sells equipment. And I've landed on the frozen yogurt page. And that will tell you there about the equipment you need. But very interestingly, a four ounce cup of frozen yogurt selling for 2.95, it tells you the breakdown of costs. The mix, 30p, the spoon and the cup, 5p, VAT, virtually 50p, making a net profit of two pounds and 11 pence or 71 percent. Well, in my book, now having taught business for a long, long time, that ain't half bad. You go down here, you can get the same kind of information for different types of related products, such as smoothies. And again, you have contact information there. You can download an equipment brochure. And again, a 70% profit margin on the typical 250 ml smoothie serving. So pretty impressive statistics. Now, you should know about Keynote Reports. And I've put a link to the Keynote Report for the ice cream sector here. And with your student and college number, you should be able to access these locked chapters about the industry background, the competitors, and so on. But even if you can't, you've got the executive summary there. If you wish, you can download that summary here in the form of a Word document. And um, I've put it in with file snack. So you simply click here to download, to save, and to share, and to print. Finally, there's so much good stuff on YouTube these days that I've put in a playlist of videos uh, about the ice cream sector. So if I start one off, you'll be able to see that um, you can access the playlist just here. And that will show you the videos that I've put in this playlist for you to have a look at. This one is about shop layout or parlor layout. Uh, this one is about a frozen yogurt business in America. This is about how to start a frozen yogurt business. So do have a look. Particularly interesting, this first video about liquid nitrogen ice cream. Very interesting, I think. Well, I hope this video has given you a flavor, excuse the pun, of the ice cream sector. Don't forget to think outside the box, as they say, and maybe you could have a mobile business, or maybe uh, you have a wonderful idea of your own that emerges from your team discussions. Anyway, from now on, it's up to you.